My name is Dr. Jennifer St. Sauver. I'm an epidemiologist in the Department of Health Sciences Research at Mayo Clinic, and I'm an author on the manuscript, The Generalizability of Epidemiologic Findings in Public Health Decisions, an illustration from the Rochester Epidemiology Project. It will appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings in February 2012. Generalizability is a problem that all clinical researchers have to address at some point in time. In the best of all possible worlds, investigators would obtain a random sample of everybody in the United States, conduct their study, and then be able to apply their results back to the entire United States population. Unfortunately, investigators have to deal with the reality of how research works. So when doing, for instance, a survey study, we know that some populations will participate and others will not, and that can affect our research findings. In other instances, some populations, uh, for instance, many minority populations, have special health care issues, and addressing the concerns of those particular populations really need to be done in populations with those health care needs. However, also public health decisions tend to be made on available data. And so it is really important for all investigators to address the question of the generalizability of their study results on a study-by-study -study basis. In this particular manuscript, we describe an approach for understanding whether or not results may be generalized to other populations. In particular, we use data from the U.S. Census, which provides a very rich source of demographic data and it allowed us to compare um, the characteristics of the Olmsted County, Minnesota population to those of the rest of Minnesota, to the upper Midwest, and to the rest of the United States. In our paper, we note that Olmsted County residents have the same age and sex distribution as the rest of the United States. Additionally, our racial characteristics are the same as Minnesota and the rest of the upper Midwest. However, the upper Midwest, in general, is less racially and ethnically diverse than the rest of the United States. Finally, we also note that there were some differences in education and poverty level in our population compared to the rest of the, Minis uh, the, rest of the Minnesota population and the upper Midwest population. For example, this population tends to be more highly educated, so about 35% of the population has a bachelor's degree, compared to about 25% of the population residing in the upper Midwest. Despite these differences in a, a few socioeconomic characteristics, this population has the same rates of death at the same ages as the rest of the United States and as the rest of Minnesota. So in conclusion, we describe how U.S. Census data may provide a rich source of data for approaching the question of generalizability in other populations. And more specifically, we provide data for researchers who use the Rochester Epidemiology Project, which focuses on the Olmsted County population, uh, that they may use to determine whether or not their particular study results might be generalizable to other populations. We do note that all questions of generalizability need to be considered on a study-by-study -study basis. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.